think that was that pretty much an accurate assessment that Morgan gave of uh, Jordan's game? Yeah, I think she's a really good rebounder too. I think she's uh, she's going to help us, you know, rebounding a little bit. Uh, she's just an explosive. If you had to ex describe her, she's explosive. I think she's explosive with her quickness. I think she's explosive to the rim. I think she's an explosive rebounder. So um, she's probably the best athlete on the team. She's really athletic and just an explosive, quick athlete. She does some freakish things, you know, sometimes. So um, I'm excited that uh, she's going to give us a little depth out there on the perimeter and it'll maybe allow us to, to do some other things that I've been concerned about doing. We've been doing it, but I think it'll really allow us to keep, to continue to do some things that we like to do here. Maybe doing better, probably. She was a, Jordan was a great student in high school. She fell off. When she left high school, when she came here, I wanted her to get back to being that really good student because she's really smart. She's going to make one B this semester, and uh, she's not taking easy classes. Um, she's got a really good GPA, three, I don't know, it's up there, three, seven, three, eight, it's since she's been here. So she's really doing a good, I thought she's going to be able to pull a four point this semester, but she's going to fall just a little bit short in one class. So she's really smart and I'm proud of her for changing back to where she should have been after she left high school. I know Oklahoma State's a, a really good basketball team and probably going to get better as year goes on, but what, what were some issues you saw that they presented that gave your team trouble that you really had to work on this week? I know you weren't happy with the points that were scored. No, I mean, I, I thought, you know, um, you know, it's it's a it's a bad time of year to be playing a really good team. When you've started finals on Friday, we had a reading day, a dead day. We had come back from playing on Wednesday off the road, you know. And again, you culminate that with they're really good, they're well coached. I thought they attacked us well offensively um, and defensively. I just felt like we were. Um, you know, we, we had our hands full with the, with the one guard in particular, and I thought she gave us problems. I, I was really disappointed at our inside play. Um, and again, I think our kids see, you know, uh, they made a conscious effort. They weren't going to guard Mo. Mo goes five for 10, had 15 points, should have had 19 because she missed four free throws. But uh, it's hard to pick your, you're going to have to pick your poison when you guard us. And, um, you know, they, they, they were going to pick that poison and Mo, Mo hurt them a little bit. Um, but they took T away. And so uh, Tierra, number one, has got to learn from that. We can't have five turnovers from her and go in one for four. Um, so the film was good for her this week, but it was also good for our team to see, you know, Mo needs to take that as a slap in the face. You think you're not going to guard me, really? Um, and, and so I, I think that's... That's what we, you know, we spent an hour in a film room last night just watching some things. I uh, thought they attacked our press. You know, we got a little bit out of the press, but I think if we had to have who won the battle, I think they won the battle. Our press being effective versus them being effective against our press. So, uh, and again, it had a lot to do with a sixth year senior point guard. That kid's been around a while. And so, it, you know, she looked like it, you know, but, uh, Again, well coached. A um, lot of re, you know, a lot of respect for that program, the coach, coaching staff, and uh, it was a heck of a game. You know, I ran into them at the veranda afterwards, and uh, I told the team, I said, if that game felt like an NCAA tournament game to me, and uh, I thought I thought both teams really played played hard and, and, and made plays. You know, we. I made a mistake, made some substitutions late, trying to get some kids off the floor and give them a little ovation from the fans, put some kids in that weren't ready, and uh, um, we didn't close the game outright. When you look at Morgan's production, um, you said before that both she and Jess have the uh, habit in them to score double figures or to work to carry a team if needed. Um, but when you look at the fact that she didn't have any assists in that game, where, where's, where's the balance and I know it was a different kind of a game, so it doesn't lend itself to that. But where's the balance with her between scoring and you know, getting assists? Is that still kind of a, a work in progress? 
Well, I think, you know, you, you got to be careful. You know, as players, you can't be worried about numbers, whether it's you're worried about getting your points, worried about getting your assists, worried about having uh, turnovers. You can't worry. You just got to play the game. Let the numbers take care of themselves. We all know Morgan can be a 41-point player or she can go get two and ten assists. That's the, the job of a point guard. you got to take what they're giving you that night. If somebody dares think that they're not going to guard me, I'm going to make them pay. Um, and so I think for that particular game, we ran a lot of stuff where uh, there's not going to be a lot of assists. I think we've been getting a lot of assists in transition, finding my shooter spotting up on the perimeter, penetrating out of transition and kicking. Mm -hmm. We didn't have hardly any transitioning in Oklahoma State. Um, and so, uh, you know, when teams are getting two back, it's hard to hard to go the other way and and get get transitions. So, uh, I think that's where some of our assists went. Blair went one for six. So I'm looking at that, going, well, there's five assists right there. She missed five shots. Um, it's typically Blair's not creating. She's the benefit of somebody creating. So, uh, I think you know numbers are going to be sometimes don't really tell the true story. I'll take 79 points every night. Who? I don't. Uh, she was back in practice yesterday doing a little bit. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, I really don't, I don't know how, how long she'll be. She's been limited for a while. So uh, we're just, it's day to day with her and, uh, like I said yesterday, she was back in practice doing a little bit. I think she certainly is playing her most efficient for sure. I think she used that word as well. She's shooting at a really good percentage. She's not taking bad shots. She's not taking four shots. Uh, she's getting a lot of really good shots, shots to the rim, mid range. She's not settling for the three as much as she has in the past. Um, but she's really shooting the ball at a, at a really good number. And again, I think that has to do with um, her, her ability to get to where she wants to on the floor, get to her spots. And, uh, you know, what we're running offensively, um, she's been getting some really, really good stuff. And again, I think she's matured. She realizes she doesn't have to, she doesn't have to go take a bad shot or force a shot. Um, she can she can defer to 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 Roe and Blair and and uh, and T a little bit. So um. when, when you look at your uh, defense though, over the way the team shows like seventy six uh, um, where where is your defense compared to their estimation? Because you're forcing a lot of turnovers, you're getting a lot of points off of turnovers and you're really kind of beating yourself up. Um, is one kind of Yeah, I mean, I'm not – I think our defense has a long way to go. I think we've got some kids playing well and some, you know, some are still trying to figure it out. Um, so, it's, uh, you know, obviously for, for our four players and Jonica and, and uh, Chloe, it's completely different than anything they've ever done. Um, you know, in Tierra, you're still trying to teach her the importance of doing some things that she never had to do before she got here as far as when you got five players that can step out and face up you got to get out there and guard them at the three-point line and preferably you get out there and deny them at the three-point line um so that's new for her um you know zion's who's playing really well she's doing some really good things for us she's productive in her minutes played um and uh, she got her hands on, on some on some shots the other day uh, but you know, I just think defensively, this time of year, you're never where you want to be. The fact that we have four senior guards that do know what we want and how we want it, as well as Jazz, um, it's, a, it's a plus for sure. Uh, but we, you know, Jordan's going to be able to bring a little bit of that um, quickness and explosiveness that we need, defensively toughness. Um, so we're still a long way from where I hope we will be defensively.
Yeah. Bigger guard than she'll probably be. Yeah, no, no, no doubt. Uh, I think she's going to be, you know, her and her and Roe, like I said, if I had to do it again, I'd probably put Roe uh, on that point guard a little more uh, on Sunday. Um, but I think Jordan is going to be somebody that uh, we're going to be able to use, you know, in roles where we need to stop somebody. Right. Well, now that you've uh, been so successful in killing, killing the Hawks, what are some other trajectories that you can maybe point to down the road that you're going to kind of roll out to, to try to you know, keep the momentum going? Sure. Well, I, I think number one, you got to keep your product rolling. You got to keep recruiting. You got to keep getting quality young people in here, young student athletes that embrace what we do and how we do it. Uh, you know, I was talking to the team last night in, in the film room and, you know, my conversations with our team, y'all, a lot, more often than not, have nothing to do with X's and O's. Most of the time when I get up and speak to them in there, in the film room, prior to a practice, or even when we call them up at half court before we practice, has nothing to do with X's and O's. I mean. You know, yes, last night it was about controlling the controllables. What are the controllables? And um, so, uh, you know, it's real important that we get uh, student athletes that embrace not only what we do, but how we do it. It's not for everybody, but we have structure, discipline in place for their benefit. Uh, we have rules in place for their benefit, uh, both support academically, basketball-wise, safety, the whole nine yards. And so we've got to continue to do that. I'd, I'd like to have an elementary school day game, you know, where we bring in five, 6,000 elementary school kids and uh, bus them in from Columbus, West Point, um, Startwell, you know, and, and have an elementary school day. I think that would be uh, a real fun experience for those kids, if you've ever been a build, in a building with 6,000 screaming elementary school kids, it, you guys might not want to cover us that day because it's pretty loud and I'm not, you know, it's just a, a different environment. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot, of, it, it's a way for us to expose our kids and our program to young kids. It's what I've always appreciated about being here is that we've made our, our game, our sport, our student athletes accessible to young kids at the grassroots level. To me, that's where you can make an impact and an impression. I don't want to price those kids, those families out of being able to come and have role models. To me, that's, that's the important thing that, that we've been able to do here. I don't, to me, it's not about making a dollar or two dollars or three, whatever it is. I want those kids in our building, number one, they provide an atmosphere, number two, it's a way for us to give back to our community by providing um, them, parents, grandmas, grandpas, aunts and uncles, providing their kids a role model. And I think that's what you do in a community of our size. So uh, I think an elementary school day game would be really cool. Um, again, I enjoy playing in Jackson. I thought that was really special. I think next year we try to go to Tupelo. You know, we've been to the coast, we've been to Jackson, and now we try to go to, to Tupelo. And so we just take our team out to the public, out to the state, and let them have a chance, let people have a chance to see us that typically haven't had a chance. So the luncheons are, hey, look, I've gotten more phone calls in my office in the last month about when our luncheons are than anything else that I've got going right now. Mary Ann's had to answer that question a bunch lately. And uh, so uh, we've got one coming up, I guess, next week on Tuesday. And uh, that'll be our first one. That's also the, the uh, Christmas one. So our, uh, our student athletes will be singing the 12 days of Christmas as, uh, as we always do. I 
I just I think it's it's a focus for us. It's a understanding going in. You know when when we were talking when I was talking to her, I I, uh, I really talked to her about maybe trying to pull off the year and a half sitting out so she'd have two full years. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, she was open to that, and that's really what made me open to her. Um, then we talked about her schoolwork, and I knew when I recruited her, she was a really good student. And I knew that for some reason in her time at Arkansas, it just, she wasn't that, you know, she had fallen off some. And so I think there was an understanding from the get-go, hey, school's important here. Uh, your academics are very important to me. I want you to be the best student you can be. Uh, again, as y'all know, everybody has um, you know, we, we were, I wasn't a great student. I'll give you the baseline. There's others like her that can be really good students, you know. And so we all need to do the best we can, whatever level we're at. She's at a level where she can make all A's, and I want her to make all A's. Um, and so, uh, from, you know, I don't know what happened. It's not important. What's important is how she's responded since she's been here, and she's been an absolute jewel. I mean, just wonderful wonderful kid never a bad day i mean i i don't know that i've ever had her in practice where she didn't go extremely hard um bust it um she's just been great so i'm happy for her that this day's come a little bit sooner um because i think she's been chomping at the bit to do it and uh you know when iggy went down and i had the conversation with her um 